Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. Today you will see a video showing bilateral pleural effusion. You can see the liver and a minimum amount of fluid is seen in the right pleural cavity. Pleural effusion sometimes refers to as water on the lungs is a accumulation of excessive fluid between the layers of the pleura outside the lungs. The pleura are a thin, thin membranes that line the lungs and the inside of the chest cavity and perform lubrication to facilitate breathing. Now you can see the minimum amount of fluid in the right pleural cavity. In general, the pleural effusion can be divided into two types, transudate caused by the fluid leak from the blood vessels and exudate where fluid leaks from the inflammation of the pleura and lungs. The most common causes of pleural effusion are congestive heart failure, pneumonia, malignancies and pulmonary embolism. In underdeveloped countries, TB of the lung is also an important cause. Again, you are going to see the left pleural effusion. Now you can see the spleen and the left lung. It, an excessive amount of fluid is seen. This is spleen. This is the pleural effusion. And excessive amount of a large amount of fluid is seen in the left pleural cavity. And you can see the lung tissue is collapsed and it is floating in the fluid present in the pleural cavity. Fluid around the lung on our malignant pleural effusion is treatable but it can be serious and potentially life-threatening condition. A minor pleural effusion often goes away on its own without treatment. In other cases, the patient may need to get the condition treated that is causing the pleural effusion. For example, you may get antibiotics to treat pneumonia. Now, with the position changed, you can see the pleural effusion, a massive pleural effusion with collapse of the lung tissue. The aspiration of the pleural effusion can help the doctor to discover the cause of the pleural effusion. Time taken to drain the fluid from lungs depends on the amount of fluid drained. It also varies depending on the reason for performing the procedure. It typically takes 10 to 15 minutes, but it can take longer if there is an excessive amount of fluid in the pleural space. It is a wide separate dogma that no more than 15 ml of fluid should be removed during thoracentesis. You can see the collapsed lung tissue. And this lung tissue is collapsed due to the excessive amount of fluid present in the pleural cavity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.